So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Now, listen, if you clicked on this video, then you got some questions that you need answered as well, right? So do I. So do I. You see the title, Most Secret, Most Secret Bases Governments Don't Want You Knowing About. I'm here for it. I gotta know. I'm here for it. So let's go. Governments around the world are hiding their secrets in highly secure facilities far away from pro Oh yeah, it looked like there's some crazy stuff back up in here. Outside, sort of feel like Batman, you know what I mean? My guys, these places have become focal points of conspiracy theorists and those trying to uncover the truth of what our governments are doing behind closed doors. Self-classified monitoring stations to chemical research stations. Here are the top 15 most secret bases on Earth. Number 15, Yulin Naval Base. Hainan Island is the most populated island in China with around 10 million residents. It's also a tourist hotspot with glorious beaches and stunning resorts, particularly on the southern part of the island. And most people who travel there wouldn't have any idea that it could also be home to one of China's most secretive bases. That's because on a remote part of the southern shoreline, it's believed that the country has built a huge underground naval base that's only a few miles from the city of Sanya. There's no absolute confirmation that the Yulin Naval Base actually exists, but satellite imagery taken by a number of intelligence agencies have shown significant construction works taking place in the past two decades, as well as what appears to be a Shang-class submarine entering it. Because of its position near to the continental shelf, it would be the ideal location to launch submarine fleets into the South China Sea without being detected, and it's an area that China is trying to exert increasing control over. If the reports are to be believed, the naval base is able to hold up to 20 nuclear submarines and potentially even a number of aircraft carriers, and it's been speculated that it will soon become capable of being the base of operations for several aircraft carrier groups as military operations ramp up in the region. Number 14, Dugway Proving Ground. Located around 85 miles to the southwest. Don't y'all feel like, feel like a little bit nervous hearing this stuff? Because it's kind of like it's, it's opening Pandora's box to your mind. You always knew something. You always suspected something. But you really didn't know if. So you just always had that in the back of your mind. Now it's bringing it to the front of your mind. It's like, yeah, bro. It's some stuff that you don't know about that's there that you thought you knew about. But you didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Salt Lake City in Utah, the Dugway Proving Ground is a facility that was first established by the U.S. Army in 1942 as a place to conduct biological and chemical weapons testing. Nestled between mountain ranges on three sides, it covers an area of around 1,200 square miles, which makes it approximately the same size as the state of Rhode Island. At first, it was used to try to develop new weapons for use during the Second World War, and at the time, it was so secret that even nearby residents had no idea there was a military facility there. That's it was crazy. originally closed in 1946 after the war, but reactivated at the start of the Korean War. Since then, it's been known as an official base, but quite what happens there is still kept firmly under wraps. There have been several incidents linked to the facility, such as in 1968 when 6,200 sheep mysteriously died in a nearby valley, something that was later attributed to VX gas, as well as the accidental shipping of anthrax from the facility to several other locations in the U.S. in 2015. Bro, I ain't heard that word since I was little. Fam, you remember the scare from that? A report released in 1994 confirmed that hundreds of weapons, tests, and experiments involving hazardous substances had taken place at Dugway. And you can only imagine what's taking place there right now. Number 13, Siachen Glacier. There are some places in the world that militaries take far more interest in than you would expect. But perhaps the most mysterious of these is the Siachen Glacier. It's located within the eastern Karakoram mountain range and lies on the border between India and Pakistan. But despite officially being under Indian control, the two countries have fought over it since the 1970s. The 47-mile-long glacier ranges in elevation between 18,000 feet above sea level to 11,000 feet above sea level, and sea temperatures at certain times of the year plummet as low as negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. 
These treacherous conditions haven't stopped it from being known as the highest battleground on Earth, and to enable their control over the glacier, it's believed that the Indian military has built a subglacial base to support troops that patrol the surface. Just how vast this base is isn't known, but there have been estimates that the Indian Army's presence produces as much as a ton of waste per day, which is being dumped on the glacier. Yo, I ain't built for that type of weather, bro. Do you see half of their body was submerged in snow, fam? I'm not built for that. No. It's also known that India has installed large networks of oil pipelines through the glacier to supply outposts and camps, as well as using blasting to change the landscape to their needs, which is causing severe environmental consequences for the surrounding area. All of this activity is, however, causing the glacier to retreat at far greater rate than ever before. So even if there's no official confirmation of the base, we'll probably all know for sure by 2035, at which time the glacier is only expected to be around a fifth of the size it was in 2011. Number 12, Porton Down. Porton Down is probably the most famous government facility in the UK, but even though its existence has been officially acknowledged, the projects that take place there remain the most secretive that the country's involved in. It was first opened in 1916 in response to the new chemical weapons being used by the Germans on the battlefields of the First World War, and soon started looking for ways to defend against them and to create new ones of their own. In the time since, operations at Porton Down have been scaled up and down depending on governmental policy and the threats being faced around the world, and it's now not only home to classified military research labs, but also to the country's health authority and several private companies. What is known about the experiments that have taken place there is that between 1949 and 1989, as many as 20,000 people took part in various trials, and it was also the place where the VX nerve agent was first developed in 1952. Also involved in the creation of CS gas, and now where samples of some of the world's most dangerous pathogens such as Ebola, anthrax, and the plague are kept, you can only but wonder what still takes place behind the secret of walls there now, and why things are being kept just as secret as they always have been. Number 11. Harp Research Station, Alaska The Harp Research Station, which stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, first started being built in Gakona, Alaska in 1993 as a joint project between the U.S. Air Force, Navy, the local university, and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, which is more commonly known as DARPA. The official reason for the station was to study the Earth's ionosphere and to try to develop enhancement technologies for communications and surveillance within it. Essentially, the facility is a high-powered, high-frequency transmitter that directs a 3.6 megawatt signal into the ionosphere, and this can either be continuous or pulsed. On the face of it, the authorities running the research station have been fully transparent with the work they're trying to do to unlock the secrets of the highest levels of our atmosphere, but there are plenty of suggestions that all may not be how it seems. Having cost more than a quarter of a billion dollars to build, and with a number of agencies involved in its operation, not only have the emissions from the station affected the ability of local communities to use technology, but they've also interfered with the local ecosystems for an as yet unexplained reason. There are suggestions that the true nature of the research station is to try to weaponize weather systems, to secretly hijack electronic signals as they pass through the ionosphere, or even to try to develop a form of mind control. Quite whether HARP is a super secret weapons facility with a science. You know it's a race to weaponize weather systems, right? Imagine what you'll be able to do if you're able to control the weather. Or are they already able to do that? That's the question. And they just we just still feel like they're not. See, see, see how deep it'll send you down a rabbit hole? experiment as a cover story, or as exactly what they claim it is, can't be known for certain. But it surely wouldn't be beyond the realms of possibility. Number 10. Fort Meade Named after a Union general from the U.S. Civil War, Fort Meade, which is in Maryland, is one of the most secretive places on American soil. It was first opened as Camp Admiral in 1917 as a military training ground, but a signal training school as well as a tank school were opened there soon after. 
In the following decades, it became the place where new vehicle designs were tested, and as a prisoner of war camp during the Second World War, and it went on to become a crucial location for radar equipment and various other technologies to provide air defense during the Cold War. Fort Meade is now not only home to several Army divisions, but also the headquarters of the NSA, the United States Cyber Command, and the Navy's Cryptologic Warfare Group 6 and it's seen as so secure that it also serves as a backup storage facility for the most valuable items owned by the Library of Congress. While it's fairly easy to find out which organizations are based there and even which buildings they're located in, that's as open as the information about Fort Meade gets. Actually, what happens on the site, from the new technologies being developed to the techniques being used to keep the nation safe, are highly guarded secrets, and ones that we're unlikely to ever find out. Number 9. Kasputin Yar Located around 62 miles to the east of the Russian city of Volgograd in southern Russia, Kasputin Yar is one of the country's most important and secretive military bases. It was established in 1946 and where the majority of materials salvaged from the fallen Nazi regime were taken to see how they could be incorporated into Russian military technology. Kasputin Yar soon became the focal point of the Soviet missile research program, with countless test launches, as well as satellite and sounding rocket programs, and the base became so large that two supporting towns were built to serve it. Amazingly, it was almost a decade before any other country became aware of the base's existence, and by that time, Soviet scientists were testing atmospheric nuclear weapons at the site, also believed to be where Sputnik 1 and 2 were launched from, and also now where some of the early Soviet spacecraft tests originated. It's also now known as Russia's Roswell, where conspiracy theorists believe all Russian evidence of extraterrestrial life was taken. It is, of course, likely that Russia has a number of other secret bases that no one even has an inkling exist, but even though we know it's there, there's still plenty of research being undertaken at Kasputin Yar that governments around the rest of the world would be extremely interested in learning about. Number 8. Cheyenne Mountain Complex Built between 1961 and 1966, the Cheyenne Mountain Complex near Colorado Springs in Colorado is one of the most secure and safe facilities in the country. It's a huge bunker built within the mountain, and beneath 2,000 feet of granite, there's a series of 15 three-story buildings that are kept stable by a network of a thousand springs. It's the only high-altitude facility in the United States that's able to withstand an electromagnetic pulse and can also deflect a 30-megaton nuclear explosion, taking place as close as 1.2 miles. That's what I'm talking about, baby! With sets of 25-ton blast doors within the access tunnel to completely seal it off. The question, then, is why so much effort was put into creating this facility? In its 60 years of operation, it's been home to some of the country's most top-secret projects, and it's currently operated by the United States Space Force Command. From there, at the surrounding base, the airspace of the U.S. and Canada is monitored, but it's also been at the center of theories of other uses. It's the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, for example, that was the fictional base for Stargate Command in the TV show. And while there's no suggestion that this is real, it highlights how linked the facility is with highly classified projects. Providing some of the most stable and protected buildings in the country, it surely must be aware a number of incredibly sensitive experiments and tests are being carried out. Number 7. Yagar Air Base When building an airport, or more specifically, an Air Force Base, one of the things that designers often do is to choose a location as far away from obstacles like mountains as they can. The complete opposite happened with the Yagar Air Base in Albania, however, and that's because they wanted to carve out an operations center within the mountain that would become the country's most secretive facility. After Imagine just being out there and stumbling upon this. We'd probably never hear from you again. Because look, this just looks like nothing in the middle of nowhere. So you just roll up and you just out here chilling one day and then you decide to try to go inside of... Never hear from you again. Another air base in Albania, however, and that's because they wanted to carve out an operations center within the mountain that would become the country's most secretive facility. After landing, aircraft can turn directly into a tunnel underneath the mountain, and the base is said to contain enough space for up to 50 aircraft to be hidden there. The idea, of course, was to protect the aircraft, particularly from the Yugoslav Air Force, 
and the landing strip welcomed its first aircraft in 1973. It began solely under the control of Albanian forces, but its secretive nature made it ideal for other uses too. In the 1990s, the CIA used the Yadar Air Force Base to fly unmanned spy missions over neighboring countries, and in the mid-90s, the base was used to fly Predator drones over Bosnia. Because aircraft could deliver components and supplies to the base without prying eyes from satellites being able to see, it's perfect for launching classified operations. But as of the year 2000, it's been relegated to nothing more than an aircraft storage facility. There are rumors, of course, that the base isn't as decommissioned as the authorities would have us think, and there's no way to definitively know how active the command center deep within the mountain truly is. Number six. Bro, look how that looked from like a zoom out perspective. Command center deep within the mountain. Looks like nothing, just regular day to day, just nothing. Mountain truly is. Number six, Diego Garcia. That's why when you look at stuff, man, you gotta be like, I know things, it just doesn't seem like what it's supposed to be. It's something to that though. You have to like, start thinking like that. Unlock your mind or whatever you gotta do, man. How they say you gotta see the forest through the trees. Located in the Chagos Archipelago, just south of the equator in the Indian Ocean, is the island of Diego Garcia. It's a British overseas territory and a highly controversial one. That's because between 1968 and 1973, the roughly 1,000 strong population there were forcibly evicted and moved mainly to Mauritius or the Seychelles, and the island was then leased to the United States, who built a huge military base there. Despite regular pleas from the original inhabitants to be allowed to return to the island, the British government has repeatedly refused in order to protect the U.S. outpost, which is one of the two main bomber bases that the country has in the Asia-Pacific region. While the UK still has a presence there of around 50 personnel, this is an American base with many thousands of personnel stationed there at any time. Officially designated as a base for monitoring the region and for quick response to unfolding events, Diego Garcia was also one of the 33 emergency landing sites for the space shuttle and is a potential emergency landing site for commercial airliners and allied troops experiencing difficulties crossing the Pacific. It's so far detached from the mainland though, with the closest being the southern tip of India that's 1100 miles away, that it's generally regarded as an absolute certainty that the base on Diego Garcia is also used for a number of top secret projects that would be too tricky to conduct on home soil. Number five, Mount Yamantau. Deep within the Ural mountain range in the Russian Republic of Bashkiria is a mountain that's long been associated with claims of a secret military outpost. Known as Mount Yamantau, it's the tallest peak in the Southern Urals, reaching an elevation of 5,300 feet above sea level. And its name in the local Bashkir language translates to mean evil mountain. Officially, perfect location, look at it. Perfect location. In Russia doesn't have any military presence there at all, but the American government has repeatedly claimed the opposite. Satellite imagery taken as recently as the late 1990s supposedly shows large excavations taking place in the area. And there are suggestions that this is proof that Russia has built its own equivalent to the Cheyenne Mountain Complex. The reasons given for the excavation works have changed multiple times, from being a mining operation to a food storage area, and even a depository for the nation's treasures, before denying any knowledge of anything happening there whatsoever. And as things stand, the Russian government claims there's nothing out of the ordinary about the mountain, despite there clearly being a number of ventilation shafts visible across its surface. Is this an extensive nuclear bunker-like facility, or simply somewhere that large stores of grain are kept to feed the few hundred people that live in the surrounding area? What do you think? Number four, Dulce Base. During the Cold War, underground missile installations were being built in a number of secret locations across the United States and further afield, and there's a lingering question about whether these have now all been decommissioned, or whether some have been converted into what y'all think the answer to that question is? Exactly. New, equally as secretive facilities. In 1979, a businessman from Albuquerque, New Mexico, became convinced that he had begun intercepting alien communications outside the city. And to make matters even worse, he claimed they were in contact with a secret government base. In the following years, he announced that he had discovered a secret base near the town of Dulce in the Archaluda Mesa mountain, where the humans and aliens were working together. 
While the main substance of these claims focused on the presence of aliens, and there's not yet any evidence to support any of these ideas, there could well be truth to the idea that there's a secret base in the mountain range. Locals have for a long time reported seeing mysterious lights in the sky and strange military presences, so much so that it's become part of the tourist appeal of the town, where a UFO conference is held. But could this really be a secret aircraft or missile testing facility that's conveniently working under the cover of a UFO conspiracy, which makes most people look away? Number 3. Pine Gap in 1966, during the increasing tensions of the Cold War, a treaty was signed between the US and Australia that agreed upon the construction of a satellite surveillance base in Australia that at first was described as being for space research. Now known as Pine Gap, construction of the base was completed by the 1970s when as many as 400 US families moved to the area and it was officially redesignated as a joint defense facility in 1988. Mainly run by the NSA, the CIA, and as part of the Five Eyes security organization, Pine Gap is currently made up of a huge computer and data processing complex, along with 38 domes containing high-powered radio dishes, responsible for controlling U.S. spy satellites as they pass over one-third of the Earth, and positioned perfectly to avoid being spied on by other nations. The documents released by whistleblower Edward Snowden in 2013 implicated Pine Gap as being instrumental to the NSA's interception and analysis of communications from around the world. In the wake of that leak, authorities have been increasingly hesitant to reveal what it is exactly that's done at Pine Gap, and it's likely that the truth of what really happens there is far more complex than anyone realizes. Number 2. Olesver Naval Base the Cold War understandably worried nations across the globe, and while many weren't able to engage in the nuclear arms race in the way that the US and the Soviet Union did, they were able to take precautions in other ways. The Norwegian government, for example, was particularly concerned about troop movements in the northern waters, and so decided to build one of the only known naval bases in the Arctic Circle. Positioned just outside the city of Tromsø, the Olesvar naval base was carved into a mountainside and contained everything needed to fully operate a fleet. There was 270,000 square feet of interior space between 899 feet of bedrock, and this included a huge area dedicated to housing, 32,000 square feet of deep water dock, and a dry dock that could hold six submarines with further docks, workshops, and moorings all hidden within the mountain, and a 3,000-foot-long tunnel to access it, the base was successfully hidden for a few decades, and was ultimately decommissioned in 2009. The problem, however, was that the Norwegian government sold the base off to a private company, and it soon became clear that this was then being rented by Russian companies linked to the government. With such concern that it had been used by Russian troops, ownership of the base reverted to the Norwegian government, and they've now restarted some operations, including those with allied powers. Just how active the facility now is isn't clear, but with the way the world politics is changing, this could soon become a hugely valuable strategic outpost to whoever controls it. Number 1. Area 51 Area of course, they had to give you that one, bro. Everybody, I think everybody knows about this one by now. 51 is, of course, the most renowned secret base on the planet. Officially part of the Nevada Test and Training Range, which is operated from Edwards Air Force Base, it first started being used in 1955. There are actually a number of sites across the surrounding desert that are also secretive military bases, and the tough environment makes them ideally located to prevent uninvited people from accessing them. The addition of extremely flat plots of land, along with relatively calm atmospheric conditions, make them ideal places to test aircraft and weaponry, and that's why Nevada was one of America's most common nuclear testing grounds. Due to strange lights in the sky and a secret military presence, Area 51 has, of course, become inextricably linked with UFO theories, which may well have become the greatest cover story ever. It's likely that it and the other bases are used to test developmental aircraft, such as the stealth bomber and high-altitude spy planes. And if any time one of these is accidentally seen, there's someone who claims it's a UFO, then most people won't pay all that much attention. And since they hardly try to dissuade the theories, it's likely that Area 51 would be the last place the military would take alien evidence. But I believe that Area 51, I, I feel like the military, they know 
we've we've discovered it's well known. So I doubt they're still doing major operations there. They may have a few things going on, but nothing I don't think too major. And I could be wrong. That's just me speculating, but it's too well known. Throughout this entire video, they've talked about being places where, you know what I mean, nobody knew about. Inside of mountains, places where people didn't go or frequent. I feel like the same for Area 51. They're gone from there. If there is any, but that still means that there are countless secrets held within the base that will likely never make the light of day. Watch our obscure playlist for more top 15 videos. Wait, this right here didn't do nothing but feed like all of those conspiracy theories and all of your anxiety about things that the government could possibly be doing or that play bases that they have secretive. Of course, you should expect that type of stuff. You want your government to have those types of facilities we don't know about where they're testing and doing different things that could benefit our intelligence, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You want that to take place. So while it's secretive and it feels like they're keeping things from you, on the other hand, that's still somewhat of a good thing, if you get what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? So, but uh, this this is definitely one of those dope videos, bro, that you just, you could just watch over and over and just be fascinated by certain things or certain places that they utilize that they sat there for maybe 10, 15 years and then moved to somewhere else. Cause I can, I can only imagine you can keep it a secret for so long. You know what I mean? You can only keep that place a secret before it gets out, especially with you bringing people throughout there. You know what I mean? Eventually it's going to get out. Somebody's going to leak some information. So you kind of got to keep, it's like a shell game. You got to keep moving around and keep, you know, moving different places. So, but y'all get at me in the comment section, man. Let me know what you thought of this dope video. All right. Governments didn't want you knowing about this most secret basis. It's your boy, until the next one, I'm gone. Peace.